Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're back in Fusion 360 and we're going to be talking about how to find the volume of your containers. So if you're making something like packaging design, for example, you probably need to know how much volume you actually are working with. And packaging design is exactly the example we're gonna be using. Uh, I'm actually been working on one right now. Uh, this would actually be made out of paperboard or like a cardboard, so may or may not be the best program to be using, but I wanted to experiment with some shapes, and I figured this would be a quick and easy way to do it. So we go to create, and we actually have this boundary fills feature right here. But before we actually use it, we need to get rid of any features that are holes. We need this. We need only one hole. Anything else it makes it way, way, way more complicated. So we're actually just going to slide the history back until we get just the general shape. I think it was right here. Yep. All right. So I got rid of all of the little features, and I have just the general bowl shape of the container. Now, something else we need to have is we need to have uh, where we're wanting the cap measurement. And so I did add a plane right here. Now this could be anywhere. So if you wanted this only to be a th two thirds of the way full, you could have this plane dropped down and do the, these same measurements with that. But we're gonna do it all the way full because we wanna know the full volume of this container. So go to create and we go down to boundary fill. And it's gonna ask us what tools do we wanna be using? So like what features are we gonna be using to um, constrain this area? We're going to click on this bowl shape and we're also going to click on the plane. And then for these cells, we want to click inside both of these objects. So that should be good. We'll just click new body. It's actually going to create a body. And we can turn off this plane now. And you can see there is an actual solid block right inside there, just right there. Now what we can do with that is we can select, I'm going to get rid of the exterior. All right, we have this. We can right click on this. We can click on properties. And there you have it right there. You have your volume. So this one is 902 cubic centimeters. And that's really all there is to it. Pretty straightforward. Um, but yeah, you actually have to create a, an additional mass. If this is something you found useful or helpful, have any co comments, questions, I'd love to see them down below. Definitely hit that like button, if, again, if you found this useful. And I will see you guys next time. Keep modeling. 